and welcome along and welcome back to This Is Island. It is uh, it's still the first day of winter um, and uh, I'd completely forgotten last time that we, we actually have two other fields of grass today. So we've got field 31 here which is nicely full of uh, which is nicely full of grass so we're currently filling the trailer up with that. Now we've got a bit of a problem on these two fields is it much more difficult to automate our uh, automate our uh, tractors doing the carting. So what we're going to do uh, is we've got this on follow me on the second uh, on the tractor and we're going to have two tractors doing follow me around the field and then we're going to define a, a route uh, that we basically take the tractors to we start them off at and then they stop at afterwards. So the idea is it's not quite as automated as it was on field 23, but it still should be pretty automated. Now the other problem we've got is our other field isn't actually able to uh, to get this header in. I've got to, I think we're gonna have to try and mount it on a trailer or something, but currently we don't have one of those. So it's, uh, it's a case of, uh, trying to work our way around that. So we'll be doing that a little bit later as well. But at the moment, this seems to be going pretty well. We're uh, we're working our way around the field. This corner is going to be fun because it's really sharp. And hopefully our tractor will get around it. If not, I will have to take the follow me off. Oh, I just... Right, I've turned too far though. So let's turn back. Our tractor should straighten out. And perfect. So, we are going to continue uh, going around this field. Uh, we'll get this full, and then I'll take you through us uh, what we're going to do as far as the track goes to go and get this tipped. So, we're up to 94% full at this point. And just, uh, yeah, we should make it most of the way back around this field. Uh, it's, uh, it's really, actually, I think we might only get two trailer fulls off here, possibly. Uh, I want to, uh, maybe three if we're lucky, uh, but that's 100% full, so we'll turn off this, we'll get our tractor, so we are going to be using course play, so take that off, follow me, uh, and we're going to define our course play course now, so the idea is we're going to run this out the bottom of, uh, out the bottom of here, and round and up to the other side of our cow farm, which is where uh, we have, uh, which is where we have our current uh, silage clamp. So we're going to head up there and uh, and get this, and we're going to define it in the same way as we defined the last one. So we're going to go up there. We're going to pause just to the side of the clamp. We're going to, uh, and then we can go round each time and get this to tip. There we are. So I'll bring this out of here, and where I'm going to do this, because if we manage to get into this other field, we're going to want to cut that as well. So where I'm going to do this is I'm going to start it from here. So we'll start the course recording, and we'll head down there. We're going to need to give our tractors a very big clean at the end of this. But this, is, uh, this should be a fairly simple route. Now, the issue we've got is that we can't easily get into and out of the fields. So this is why we're having to do this slightly differently. Uh, we're having, uh, what we're going to do is these are going to be transport courses. So while before we've had uh, this course we've got here, which is highlighted in green at the moment, that is offload the combine and tip. What we're going to do here is we're going to run a grain transport course. Uh, which basically means it runs from the start, goes to the stop. In fact, no, no, we don't want to run a grain transport because that is uh, start, fill up, stop. What we want to do is this one, transfer drive from start to finish. So it's a transfer course that we're running. Um, and basically, it's, it's a course that we have that has a park in the middle uh, that we then go... Uh, it drives to there, it parks, we get it tipping, uh, and we then go back. Now, the reason why I don't use, and I'm not sure, I don't think I explained this last time. The reason why I'm not using the tip one, this one, 
uh, is because what happens is that this detects the tip collision and then tips at the entrance to the uh, silage clamp. As a result, that's no use for us um, because that just then puts the tip in the wrong place. So what we're doing is making sure we can manually tip where we want to tip, uh, that it goes in the right place, um, and that we're we're then in a position uh, that uh, that we can easily control every aspect of this. So we'll bring this in here as before. Round here, and again we hit the park at this point. We pause our course recording. So you can see where we have paused it. We can then back this into here. Like so. There we are. And tip it. that I don't know how much how much do we have in here now so we have a hundred and sixty we're gonna have over two hundred thousand liters in here uh, uh, certainly by the end of this we know we've almost got another full trailer actually so what I'm gonna do is now uh, now I'm gonna unpause the course which puts another point in here. And this just means that that then is the next closest point to drive to. And we can head off again. And uh, and just take ourselves back to the farm. So just it's just a great way of us getting stuff transported to where we need it to. Uh, rather than automating the whole processor. With course play this is the thing. If you find you have trouble with a certain part of the course... You can always set course play to do most of the work for you. And then just manually do that last little bit. Just manually get that so that it works. Um, because it just it just makes all the difference. It means that you're not spending all this time driving back and forth. You can just get course play to do this last little bit. Or, or, or sorry, or the, the, the leg work for it. Uh, and then just finish off the last little bit yourself. Uh, and that's what I love about it. That's that's for me when I'm playing single player. This is this is the difference the course play makes. It does those bits which uh, stop me from just continuing to do uh, the the other stuff that I want to do and the other stuff that I'm working on. That is a very nice large glass grass field there, field fifty. That is that is a brilliant grass field. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this back to the farm. We will end our course play course just around the corners here. So the only field actually we haven't done anything with yet, and the ground, the ground is still warm enough to do it if we wanted, is, uh, is field 41 here. Uh, we're not putting anything in that, because all seed radish actually would, would hamper the next crop, surprisingly, uh, that I want to put in that field. So that's why we haven't done anything with that field yet. I am going to have to uh, think long and hard about it, though, if there is something I want to do. Uh, because, uh, yeah, we need to we need to look at that and, and look at the possibilities of that. Right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over here. Uh, and we'll just park it just the other side of this entranceway. Not really where I want to go. In fact, here, we can now do something uh, that you can you can see what to do. So if we pause, we can delete the last few points. And you see where we went wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the gateway. Because we should have come out of the gateway and immediately pulled onto the side here. So I'm going to reverse this up. And you can see it's still there. So I'm going to take it right up to the gateway. Here. Right. So, 
Delete that point, and you can see the next point is right above us. So we'll start and unpause it, and it puts the next spot in there. And that is how you correct a course play course. Something that I've wanted for a very long time. Absolutely brilliant uh, piece of functionality in course play that. Right, so what we're going to do to test this course is you may remember last time we finished up with our Massey Ferguson in this field here with our sheep. So we're going to take this and uh, this has another 22,000 litres of grass in it. So we're going to top this off now. And once we've topped this off, uh, we'll send this on its way and hopefully this will go and do the job rather nicely. Go. And round. And there's a there's a piece of equipment. I don't know if I have it enabled on this safe game at the moment. But there's a piece of equipment that will allow me to lift the header over the sides here, or I need to get a uh, a, a mounting to get it through. So I've got a, I've got a couple of bits of work that I think I need to do from that point of view. Right, so we'll get the class atlas out of the way. And go and top off our Massey. And that will then give us the ability to send this off. And hopefully, uh, topping this off will, uh, will be useful to us. It will get us going. It means we can tip this. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, continue on. So, follow me on. Whoa, that's not what I want to do. Press the wrong button. Follow me on. Uh, right offset, behind dip distance. Uh, looks perfect. In fact, that is exactly the settings we just had for the class tractor. Start up our engine. And away we go. Does struggle up this hill a little bit, so we want to watch. Uh, we've got 74 percent. Our sheep, of course, took uh, 25 percent of what we had of the grass that we had in this trailer, uh, but this should do pretty well with this, and we'll get this get this filled up. We're looking at having at least three trailers off here, I think, uh, and a result of that is, means that we're adding nearly another hundred thousand on there. Uh, if we can do the same off the other field, that means that we're going to be in a really, really good position uh, when it comes to our cows. We're going to have a massive amount of silage for them. And as I said last time, when we move on to the next game day, it's very much going to be a case of compacting our existing, uh, compacting this silage in the clamp, and probably trying to sell off the silage that we've had sitting down at the BGA for a little while, uh, simply because we want to get that sold. And, uh, and get the money in from that. Uh, silage, I think, uh, if we check seasons, the sales point, silage, it's a, it's a little bit odd. It looks like it sells well in early spring, actually. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. If the price gets anywhere near that kind of size as we go through the days, uh, that's gonna be the point at which to sell it. Uh, which is interesting, actually, because it means that I don't, don't particularly want to sell it right now. We're we're in a position with the silage where we're trying to guess when the best time to sell it is, and we're having to keep an eye on it every day at the moment as to when is going to be our best day to sell it. How are we? We're up to ninety percent, and uh, yeah, so we're we're having to keep an eye on when the best time to sell the silage is because at the moment um, we don't have a clear indication of that. It certainly looks like the beginning of spring is our best bet. Um, but we may find in the middle of winter that the price suddenly shoots up. Right, we are at 99%, 100%. There we go, that is full. Right, so this off. We will take the follow me of this. And we'll go and set it on the course. So what we need to do with the class tractor quickly is we need to save that course 
And this is uh, from here. So, save course, which you can see there. Uh, transport silage. I'll call it silage, but obviously it's not. Uh, main farm to cows. Which makes sense to me. Right, there we go. And now what we can do, now we save that course. We can come in here and we can load transport Bought silage, main farm to cows. There we go. And you can see our course. So what we want to do with this, uh, we want to drive from oh, first waypoint, line it up, drive course, and away it goes. Now I think oh, just need to stop driving. This needs to be a transport, not a uh, pickup, because we don't want this trying to get into the field. Uh, we will go from nearest waypoint drive course. There we go. Right, so that is off, and uh, and transporting that, we can continue on with our class tractor here. Here comes the massive back now, and we are. Actually, that's a nice short route. We are only. 49% full, uh, which is fantastic. And our tractor has followed us around. So the Massey will be sitting in the perfect place for us to pick up with it in a minute. Need to get the follow me on this to catch up. There we go. And, uh, and yeah, we just need to continue on until we uh, get full. It's a, getting a bit dark here. Of course, it is early winter. Uh, so, uh, yeah, getting dark at uh, half past three is not that abnormal. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we should get all of this out. The grass hasn't died off yet. So we've got a couple of... We actually have a couple of days to get this off. Um, but uh, I don't think we're going to be able to... Uh, to spend all that time and we do only have this field and our one other anyway to get done so uh yeah and this get i want to i want to try and reseed the edge of this field uh looking at the edge of this field it hasn't taken the grass as well as the rest of the field so we do need to get that we also got quite a bit of um wheat in this field so uh, yeah, that's going to affect the uh, yield on here a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's get this trailer full. We may even get the rest of this field into this trailer. But we'll see how we go. Um, and then we're going to try and get this header through the gateway into the other field. And see if we can get that cut as well. 98% full now. And got just a few little bits of grass actually hanging about here. We've got two sort of small triangles on the field. We're not going to get both of them in here, interestingly. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to put the rest into uh, into the other trailer, into the Massey. Uh, and then we do have this thing. Now you can see the Massey here, for some reason, has tried... In fact, the Massey is trying to go for the harvester. Uh, interestingly, it shouldn't be. So we need to check what the setting on that is. But yeah, that really, really shouldn't be trying to get to the uh, to the harvester. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. So it is on transport. What I need to do, I think, stop at last point or trigger. So stop driver. So that's what the issue is. I think we need to, we've got it just running around in a transport loop. So we need to do stop at last point or trigger next closest waypoint drive course and away the class goes and back the massy comes there we go and so nice easy changeover and we can then very quickly just bring this in here bring it up to the harvester so it's not quite as fluid a thing as if we had uh the harvester 
uh, you know, them, them queuing up behind the harvester. Uh, but it does give us a pretty quick changeover. Start this up. Start that up. And we'll get rid of this triangle first. And then move on to the bit up the top of the field. So here we are at the top of the field. And we've got just this little triangle bit to get done here. We can somehow fit it all in the header this time. Yeah, I think we can. Just about. We angle that right. We can get that all in there. So that is this field done. Uh, as you can see, pretty successful. Uh, I'm very happy with how that's gone. Can't seem to turn it off, though. Hang on. There we go. Don't fold the pipe in before you turn this harvester off. It'll be interesting to see if the uh, giant ones have that. Uh, we'll take the follow me off the tractor. Now the problem we've got here is there's only one entrance into this other field. Uh, and as you can see, it's very tight. So what I've got to try and do is maneuver our harvester in in such a way that I can swing the head around through the gateway and hopefully get the harvester in because it does like to get stuck on this gateway yeah it's it won't go through this gateway it's just marginally too small for this head and you can see here it just, it's not actually clipping it, but if I bring up the collisions, you can see that the collision on the header is ever so slightly wider than the actual header. So as a result, that doesn't quite make it through the gateway. So I am going to see if there's some sort of uh, header thing we can get for this in the shop. Now, it'd be under header trailers, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of header trailer. There's a, there's a Crone header trailer. We could possibly try and fit it on that and see if it worked. So, uh, I think that might be worth a go. I don't think there's anything in the actual uh, Forage Harvester headers section for this. No, there's nothing in there. So, yeah, to get this header in, to get this direct disc in, uh, we are going to have to try and put it on a header and the only header available to us is the chrome so uh yeah i'm going to head off i'm going to grab that and then hopefully we'll be back in a minute and see if that we can get that to work i've hired the chrome header uh that i showed a minute ago uh i've only hired it just in case this doesn't overly work and uh and has issues with that um i used the class because it was the closest um, at the time, it just gone up there to tip its most recent load of silage. Uh, so, we're going to start this up. Get this, hopefully, onto this header trailer easily. Yeah, the midpoint is uh, over here. Right, so... Let's see if this will go onto the trailer. It appears to have gone onto the trailer. That's good news. So we'll move this out of the way. We'll go and give uh, our class tractor enough space to turn around. Should be able to turn around in the other field. And hopefully that will then allow us to get the header into here. And because we're using this for such a short period of time, this header trailer, uh, it's it'll be a, a, a minimum small cost to us uh, as a result there we go yeah that has actually got that onto there I'm really quite pleased that that's worked uh, it does mean we can actually get the second field uh, done even though we are losing the light pretty fast at this point uh, it is now quarter to four uh, this is why we're running uh, this video today on one times uh, because we do need to uh, in order to, to actually have enough light to do this. There we are. 
And there's our header into the field rather nicely. So we'll hook that back up. Uh, back ourselves off. Lift it up. There we go. Let me get that out of the way. And, uh, and then hopefully we'll just send the class back to uh, the other bit. And in fact, I think what we're going to do, we're losing light rather quickly. So I'm quite happy that we've got this header in here. But I think at this point, uh, we may get the silage going on until the next day, simply because we do have uh, fading light at the moment. And we know we can cut this on the next day as well. So I think our next video is probably going to be covering uh, covering doing uh, this field of silage. Uh, so we'll get this cut. But also... We will, once we finish that off, we'll get everything covered up. Uh, we'll get it all, um, uh, we'll get it all compacted and everything. And, uh, and that will be the silage finished for the year. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Bertram Pharma, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.